Welcome back to my channel. On this very snowy day here in Pennsylvania, I am making Italian wedding soup for you guys. So I hope you do enjoy and manja. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing Italian wedding soup. And what I want to start with, I gave you guys the picture of the ingredients that I'll be using right in the beginning. We're going to start by making the baby meatballs. So we're going to start with that. And what I have here is turkey. It, you can use beef, of course, but I don't eat beef. So it's Lean, 93% um, all-natural ground turkey. This package is 16 ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this. You want to go ahead and open that, that pack of meat. Get that right in your mixing bowl, okay? So let's start with that. Now you can double this batch. I mean, it's just for me, and I'll probably give my parents some, so I'm not making a ton of it. Uh, like I said, if you have a bigger family and, um, you know, you would you would use a bigger pack of meat and so forth. So next I'm going to go ahead and do one egg. All right, so you get your one egg in there. You're going to go ahead and take about half a cup of breadcrumbs. I just shake it, so I'm estimating to you how much I'm putting in. It's about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and I am using the Italian-style breadcrumbs with Romano cheese. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and take your minced garlic. All right, open that up. This is a fresh jar, so... Let me crack this open. I'm going to go ahead and take one tablespoon and throw that garlic right in there. All right, so we have that so far. Next, you're going to go ahead and get a Parmesan cheese. This is like a generic brand, no problem. You don't have to get, you know, an expensive brand. I think this is like $2.99 at Aldi yesterday. I just shake it in, so I'm going to say about a quarter of a cup, all right? A quarter of a cup of the cheese. Go ahead and take your salt. You're going to do about one teaspoon of salt. All right. Go ahead and get your uh, onion powder in. For the amount I'm making, again, I'm going to do about one teaspoon. I'm going to say about four shakes. Go ahead with your oregano. About three or four shakes. Uh, let's see, garlic powder, same amount, about four shakes. Parsley. This comes out slow, so you want to do, you know, about five or six shakes of that. And then pepper, you want to give about a good shake or two. I'm using the black pepper finely ground, okay? So at this point, what you're going to do is go ahead, make sure your hands are clean, of course. Wash your hands. And you're going to go ahead in and knead this mixture, okay? These are going to be your meatballs your baby meatballs. Go ahead and mix it well. I'm going to just use one hand here. Okay guys, so what you want to do now is go ahead and turn your top of your stove on. I'm going to put mine on a seven. We want this to heat. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on high to that oil starts to crisp up. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead in my mixture here and start making the balls. So, if you ever made meatballs, it's the same procedure. All right, so we're looking about that big. All right, so start your meatballs off. Keep it going. It's going to take a while because you have quite a bit of uh, room in this pan as well as... It doesn't look like a lot of meat, but when you're making these meatballs that tiny, you probably get a good 30 to 40. You don't have to cook it all the way through. You're just searing the outside of the meatball, and I'll show you what it's going to look like before you feel like it's done, okay? Aren't these super cute? So keep going. I'm going to get in here and start rolling them, okay? So you're going to turn them over. That's, the, that's what you want the outside to look like, okay? Seared on the outside. Now, I got them to all fit in this pan. Don't crowd them. You know, um, once that fat starts coming out of the meat, they kind of get smaller. So, if you can fit them in, fit them in. If not, just try, just do your two batches, okay? 
because you want them all cooked evenly. But hey guys, so this is what you're looking like. They're done. I shut the oven or the top of the stove off. I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping my vegetables and get that rest of that stuff going. Okay guys, so what I did is put my other pan right on top of the stove where it was warm and put about one or two tablespoons of butter in there. I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt down because we're gonna go ahead and put our vegetables in this, this pan next. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start with the vegetables. What I have here is about a half of um, medium onion. I already cut that lid off from the last time I made something and I had this in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. Go ahead and chop this onion um, small as possible. and get that right in your bowl here. Next, you're gonna take your celery, and it's about one cup. I took three uh, celery stalks, cut off both ends, okay? And you're just gonna go ahead and dice that up as well. You're just gonna go ahead and chop that up, I guess, oops, say not dice, but whatever. <laughs> You guys know how I be doing stuff. All right. Right down to the edge. I already chopped off that little end, so be careful cutting. Get that into your bowl. Take your carrots and chop these up. All right. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like, all right, when everything's all chopped up, you got your onions, your celery, and your carrots all in this dish. You're next going to go ahead over to your pan and get this in that butter. Okay guys, so your butter is melted in your pan. Go ahead and toss in your vegetables you just uh, cut up, and you're going to go ahead and let this cook on low heat and simmer for about seven to eight minutes. You want that the vegetables softened up, okay, so go ahead and let that cook out. Okay guys, that's been cooking for about a minute or so. What I want you to also do is go ahead and grab one tablespoon of your minced garlic, or you can use fresh garlic, it's up to you. You're gonna go ahead and use one tablespoon of your minced garlic, toss that in as well. Go ahead and start moving that around. Okay guys, so you frequently want to stir your vegetables and just make sure they're all cooking evenly. I'm going to turn my oven up or top stove just to about a three or four. I had it on very low. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that up a notch or two. And I'm also going to go ahead and add some salt at this point. So you want to do, you know, about a, a teaspoon of salt. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and put your pepper, a little bit more pepper in there. About a teaspoon of that. All right. So go ahead and mix that up. You know, you can always add more uh, salt later, so just be careful with that. Okay, guys, so it's starting to cook up nicely. You don't want to burn your garlic, so again, don't put your um, your top stove on too high. Keep it at a three to four for about eight minutes total. You want to break down that, that um, those carrots. But keep in mind, you're going to be boiling this with the um, chicken broth as well, so don't worry about cooking it fully through. You're just kind of getting a nice sear on this, caramelization, all right? Keep that going. Wait about another minute. Okay guys, so at this point, after your vegetables are all cooked down, go ahead and do it one more time, give it a quick turn. You're gonna go ahead and grab your chicken uh, broth. This is 48 ounces of chicken broth, okay? It is, can you see that? Sorry, I don't wanna. All right, so it is um, organic, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this right in there in the pan. 
I'm going to pour the entire thing in there. So at this point, go ahead and let that simmer still for about a minute or two. Okay, guys, so what you want to do is go ahead at this point and turn up your stove because you're going to get this going to a boil. All right, so turn it up as high as you want to go. I'm going to go with an 8 on my electric stove top. Uh, I'm not going to go on super high, but an 8 will be perfect. Go ahead and get your broth to a boil at this point. Okay, guys, so take a look at the, your soup. You got this now. It's boiling at this point, okay? What you're going to do is go ahead and get your uh, macaroni. I'm using colavita, all right, and, that, and it's bepe. So open that up. You're going to get 8 ounces of this out, which is half this package. All right, so get that in there. You're also at this point going to put your spinach in, your fresh spinach. Okay, I'm doing about two big handfuls. Throw a little bit more in there. All right, so you see how much I put? Go ahead and mix that in. Now at this point, you're going to add your meatballs as well. Hey guys, now that that's all in there, you want to start adding your meatballs as well. So then you're going to cook this for about 15 minutes or so. So go ahead and get your meatballs in there. Alright, so at this point, go ahead and let that cook down for about 15-20 minutes. Um, you can cover it if you like. Um, I'm not going to cover mine, but you can cover it if you'd like, and I'll be back. There's my soup, Italian wedding soup, all plated up for you. Got a little bit of parsley on top. I'm going to go ahead and take some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese and throw that right on top as well. All right, guys, there you go. There's some uh, Italian wedding soup for you on a nice cold day. Today it's snowing here, so it's a perfect day to eat some nice hot soup. Thanks so much for watching.